Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of The Witcher 3. Back on the grind. Today, you guys, we are going to be adding another, hopefully, adding another sorceress to our team. And to do that, we have to sneak onto the Emperor's flagship where the sorceress is being held and uh, get them out. So let's go ahead and head over there. What, what am I doing? There's a fast travel post right here. All right, let's uh, grab one of these boats here, yeah? mate. And uh, sneaky sneak our way over there. Look at all these ships. So many ships. Be easier to sneak on board after dark. Oh, 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 kiddo. Look at me dipping and dodging while I'm in the... Excuse me, excuse me. I'm just... Uh, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Ow! Ow! <laughs> One more hit and I'm dead, dude. I'm just sailing through, you know? Normal day. How am I supposed to get in there without them? To They're gonna see me. They're gonna see a... a I'm a, I'm a bow. How do you not see the bow? You know what I'm saying? Let's have a look here. Hold on. Okay, the bow is around. Okay, so it's actually further down this way. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's further. No, 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 it's further this way. Okay, it's further down. There's no way I can get around this. I have to get in, like, I'm sure the boat's in the middle of all the boats. I'm gonna have to... Can I be invisible? Sink the boat! Oh, Shoot. oh, oh, oh! Wait. Harley! I'm a... Damn it! Okay, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way, dude! Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Okay, okay, okay! Jesus! Jesus! Oh fuck! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, get off the boat, 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 off the boat. An assassin! Let's fly! Dive, dive, dive! Oh come on! How are you shooting me from down? Oh my lord! He's hidden somewhere. Oh fuck! Stay down here. Stay down here. How the hell are you supposed to do this? What do I sneak onto? Good thing I can hold my breath for a very long time and let my health regen. Uh, how do I sneak on the boat? Hold! It's the Witcher! No, it's not! Orders. Stand down. Wait. Stand down. Stand down? What? Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Hi, <laughs> Jesus. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. All right, where's that guy over there? That guy's You should glitching. have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. You're insolent because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. And told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. <laughs> Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. 
didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritium shackles. Pretty easy enough, right? I hope. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Now, I don't know this lady, do I? But I know Geralt knows this lady. Angela. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We can take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. What? We're taking a portal then? What are we doing? Alrighty. Oh, she's just gonna meet me there. And I despise teleports. But ah. have you away. Let's go. I like teleports. Fast travel, you know? Let's have a talk with Triss. Yes, Geralt? You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer. You'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. I'll see ya. So long, Triss. Yes, Geralt? Looking good. Cantarella. Who is she, really? She mentioned you knew each other. You ran into her. Her real name is Carthia Van Canton, Asira's former collaborator. She's very... talented. Spied for you? Not just for us, probably. I doubt she wishes any harm upon me or other sorceresses, but one must be very careful what one says in her presence. Seemed like you told her quite a lot about me. You ought to feel flattered, then. That makes you famous on both banks of the Yoruga. You look good. For a captive of Emir, is that what you mean? Seems like he's shown you surprising leniency. No interrogations, no torture. Or did you just tell him everything he wanted to know? If I told him everything, he'd hardly still need me alive, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we shan't speak of it. I and what concerns me have not been a concern of yours for some time now. Huh? Right, see ya. So long. Alright, well now that we got her, uh, we can go meet Philippa in the Elven Ruins to get the Sunstone, I believe. Okay. All right, you guys, here we are. Whee! Just wonderful. I say, look at this. Let's go. In what we now? go. Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did. I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eyes. Yeah, that's... Hmm. Oh! Siren's not gonna attack us? Oh. What did she just say? You're not her type? Is that her what?
we don't come to the at this area now. We came here for a reason. The stairs? I'll fix them right away. Oh, look at you. <laughs> So there are times I don't usually realize how it moves. Triss plays the big sister to Siri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a five sum, there's clearly no room. <laughs> uh, stench. Oh, fuck you. Hit me. Hit me. What's he doing? What now? It appears I must do everything for you. <laughs> Welcome to my Some life. Sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, in blood, not coin. The Sentry is Fearlin, the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? That was deep. Oh, damn. Ow. Yennefer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. <laughs> Is foreplay that important to you? You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her. So once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Redania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Amir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. This deal with Amir. It's sorcerous business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? 
No, my medallion. A ridiculous bauble. They made me laugh. Oh my god. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Watch this. Arahan Luma! Sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors. Oh, we got a puzzle. All right, let's do it. Let's have a look. Shift the mirrors, huh? Let's see. We gotta make here just a triangle. I clicked it. Hang on. Okay, so the light shines from there. I'm not exactly sure what it wants me to do. Like. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Have a look. At last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Here we Let go. Yes, you gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. Whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Siri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. All right. Uh... You're like Nilfgaard. No two ways about it. I recommend the fresh alpine air of Nazaire. <laughs> and Yennefer claims you have no sense of humor. Now listen carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Siri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you, 
and go. You want to take Yen's place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. I don't even get a choice Any in this. Any other words of wisdom? Or can we go? You may go. I know you have things to do. I can find my own way back. Oh, you're not gonna... Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, Alright then. Looks like everything's ready, you guys. Let's head back to Avalok. Oh, hello. Ow, bitch. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood Gene? Unlikely. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. <laughs> Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention <laughs> you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, elder blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm -hmm. A she-elf. Claimed you hate Siri. So how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Aridin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others. Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. God, why is keep doing that? From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Charming world you and El have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads, we are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? 
No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Eredin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. Alrighty. I'm hoping this isn't the final mission. I know I'm getting close, but I really want to upgrade my armor again before we, we beat the game. But we'll see. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. <laughs> Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. That's nice of you. You are about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it. With your help, naturally. Wow. Emir's being generous with his resources. He's halted his entire Skellige campaign to help us. Not doing it just to be nice, believe me. He's doing it for the same reason we all are. Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. Is she okay? What about Siri? Cyril will wait. At a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Ah, she did, she wants to fight. Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. I want to say, like, let her go. She obviously fucking saved our asses at Kiramorian. If we, if she would have stayed inside, all that we all would have died. I don't know. Like, I, as much as I want her to be safe and to stay out of harm's way, like, I, 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 I also want her to help us fight because she's a strong fighter. don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. <laughs> Just like her dad. I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Zirel recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you will do the same. Zirel. 
Do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. <laughs> Honestly, tell him. Oh, yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive, speaking from experience there. Ultimately, she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me? Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats. This is the Come last the class, source. isn't it? To see you. Something happened? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. Um, I want to say it'll be all right, but I'm, 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 uh, for on the real here, things could get rough. to battle Aridin and the wild hunt at full strength. Could be like Sodden. Could be worse. Nothing could be worse than Sodden was. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. You? Dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start anew. I'll believe it when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw having retained the upper hand. What then? A small secluded hut with a flower garden to tend to? Why not, if that is what you dream of? We shall leave together. Go where we please. Do whatever strikes our fancy. So? Coming with? Of course I'll go. Why would I say no? I'd go anywhere with you. The answer I was hoping for. Go, Geld. Avalaka waits. And don't get killed, Witcher. I try my best. I hope it gives me the option to not start the last mission yet, but I might have already lost that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I I I I do want to get to the story, but I also like I'm one level away from getting mastercrafted armor, and I really want to have that armor when we fight. You know what I'm saying? So um, can we go back? Let's see. Yeah, we can leave. Okay. Pretty sure we can leave. So my plan is to get the armor and then we'll probably start the last i'm assuming this is the last mission yeah we'll start it once we get the master because i'm just it, we're getting too close to the end of the game and i i don't want to i want to have the armor ready i keep pushing start okay so we only need a. Uh, so we gotta get to level 34 so let's do a couple of contracts and hopefully it'll get us to the armor Welcome, Master Witcher. Hello, sir. Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hotch. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Course, course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging, near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? 
Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Meant details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Said some forest devil had attacked them. All right, let's talk about my reward. Let's talk about my pay, because the current offer is just not enough. Let's go for a nice 330. It's going to be 3 320. No, 325. I, I knew that wasn't going to work. You're not cheap, but I can see you've tried to be reasonable. We might still agree a price. All right, let's try 300. 310. 300. 310. <laughs> 305. <laughs> no? Mm, you're not cheap, but I can see. 3295. There we Very go. well. Let us say that's a price I'll pay willingly. All right. I'll take the job. This logger, where'll I find him? Around. Last I saw him, he was drinking away his pay. Said he had to honor his dead comrades. All right. Let's go find the woodcutter's hut. Oh, wait, we can talk to witnesses here, too. Let's go ahead and do that. Welcome, traveler. Drink with me, you cocksucker. <laughs> Fucking knock back a few so's my mates will race peaceful. Something plowed them up good, but I don't know what it was. Don't know who or what to cuss. Talk to one Breen Hotch. Told me all about your comrade's death. No liquor. We tried to explain. Some horror was prowling the forest. He refused to believe it. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what he said. Good man, Breen. Though a halfling. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? We were making our way out of the forest. Loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden we heard a bloody howl. Like a wolf's. Pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel was stuck. Magnus Rector hollered they should run to the hut for the crossbows. So I ran. Come back to the woods. Bloody plow and massacre. Couldn't tell me mates apart. Thanks. Really helpful that. <laughs> Kill the bugger. Will you? I sure will, sir. Alright. Move it. Logger's hut. Need to find the spot where they died. Alrighty. Let's look around. Deep ruts. Logger's wagon must have stopped here. Then they went down this road. All the way towards their clearing. Here we go. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. The dwarf went this way. So hard he suffocated. Clawed the rock. Must have been angry and strong. Did he turn into something? Deep wound on his back. Bled to death. Everything says Leshen, a young one. Must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. Crows serve lessons. Should find some near the totem. All right. Lo and behold, here we go. Lessons totem. Now to destroy it. Ought to piss it off. Make it leave its lair.
There we go. Should be coming out soon. Or the next day. <laughs> Oh god. It's a big boy. Whoa. Let's go, boy, me and you. Oh. Shoot. Okay, wait a sec. Oh shit. Is he supposed to be invisible? There you go. Trophy. And now we go collect our reward. Welcome, Master Witcher. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. Oh, that's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers. But there's no shortage of foe looking for work. But can I be certain? No other lesson will show. It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Farewell. Alrighty. Out. All right, guys, so I think next episode I'll probably have the armor by then and then we can finish off those main quests. But I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use. And I'll see you guys so in the next video. Bye.